Have you forgotten something? What am I meant to do? Admire your latest dodgy tyre off Kane? Just come here. Yeah, break it up, kids. You do know you can get done for this kind of thing in daylight hours. I think you've heard them. About Gabby? Yeah, no, I can't believe it. Well, when Diane told me, I thought she got it wrong, but... Honestly, I've got all the sympathy in the world for them lads, but getting the police to pick on a teenage girl is ridiculous. Anyway, come on, I want to hear all about your meeting. Mm -hmm. You've got time for a chat. I was just on my way to work, actually. That wasn't a question. We need to have a chat about your car. Ready. Mum? Wake up, I'm going to be late for school. Oh, sorry, sorry. Are we going to the fireworks tonight? Um, I don't know, darling. Grandad doesn't want us there. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I oh. forgot my key. And I think I've left my favourite eyeliner in your bathroom. Lydia! I thought it was the police. Uh, Gabby, I just saw you leave. Yeah, I came back. I'm not going to school today. I'm gonna stay here. What? But everyone knows I'm, I'm not going. <sighs> OK, well, if your mum doesn't mind, then I don't. Look, let's just turn this phone off and leave it down here, all right? Poor kid. She turned up late last night. I don't think Benice is handling it very well. Nobody is gonna believe that Gabby did this. We're not gonna get you for driving on bald tires, are we? In fact, new boots all round, by the looks of it. Very nice. When did you get them? Well, it depends. Yeah. Thought it might. No, I had a punch yesterday, so that one's a new one. They all look new. Yeah, well, if you let me finish. The others got changed about a couple of weeks ago when it went in for its service. OK. And when was that? Before Mrs Barton died or after? I don't know. Can you see what I'm getting at? I'm trying to work out whether our forensic team were wasting their time last time we checked. If these tyres weren't even on the car when Mrs Barton was killed. But it was already in for its service the day it happened. And I didn't pick it up for days. And I don't know which day they changed the tyres on, cos it's not a sort of question you ask. Where? The service. Up the road. Dingles. Of course. Did they stamp the service book? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't check. All right, why are you harassing me anyway? I'm asking polite questions. But my half-brother's just been killed. My mum just had a baby no one knew about. Why would I care whether they stamped my book or not? Did they give you any paperwork? Anything with a date on it? I'll tell you what. While we're both here, why don't you have a look? Please. Um, it's probably at home. Yeah, probably. Telling you, you'll be able to see this lot from space. Are you sure they're safe? In the right hands. Jerry's going to do a risk assessment for the council. Jerry is? Done. Emailed you it. Really? I've not seen it. Check your spam box later. Douglas is on bonfire duty, and I'm taking care of the explosives. I don't mind admitting it, I'm really excited. I've got wood. Somebody dropped off some pallets, and then I've got a load of broken chairs from a community centre in Otten, plus the usual garden rubbish. I'll get on with building it up this lunchtime. Yes. My favourite night of the year, this. I like to imagine all my problems, like all the teachers who kept me behind after school, all the screws who didn't have a sense of humour, all just gathered together as one. And I've blown sky high. You've got my filter wrench again, I'm loosening your head with it. I wouldn't know a filter wrench if it introduced itself to me. Uh, that I can believe. <sighs> you haven't seen Ross on your way in, have you? <sighs> what do you want? Quick question. What do you do with the tyres? The old ones you get rid of? Scrapyard? Depends. 
On what? On what condition they're in. Some go here, some go there. Where's the appointment book? Same place it was last time you looked. By the phone. Do you mind? Adam Barton. Had his car in recently. Don't know. <laughs> Keep looking all you like. You're not going to find anything. I'm not being funny, but Adam Barton is kind of my stepson, and Skyvin Ross is half brother, so you know, gets mates rates. Enjoy your day, Mr. Dingle. Here the scrapyard. Right, stay put. I'll be there in a sec. He'd run off, left me to face the music. I was trying to find the box. They're really tiny as well. It's like trying to hit an egg cup with a fire hose. Miss, he keeps bullying me! Don't, don't. <laughs> You're very right, Snape. Uh, I didn't want to make a fuss, so. Do you think she's going to make us do lines? <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could find everything hilarious. I'm sorry about yesterday. I should have told you what I was doing. Although, technically, it wasn't me that peppered Miss Grant with all that. Hello, Hello Miss Grant. Grant. Hi. Hello. OK, so the police want to see you one at a time. You first. <laughs> I'm joking. Come on. <laughs> Not even the kids fall for that one. <laughs> There's no way I'm wearing this. You need to do this 20 minutes before lighting, then draw an arrow in the dirt for the direction of the wind, then that arrow points to where you make your roll to let the air in to your TP of tinder. TP of tinder? It's very technical, isn't it? How long have you been interested in setting things on fire, Jerry? My whole life. The pro. Look, do you think Gabby's going to be here? Ooh, I don't think so. Laurel says she's been getting some very unpleasant messages on her Insta book. Insta book. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> no. It's not like lighting your average party park, all right? I started to lift a lit at first, but they go up real quick. I grouped them together, so each few sets off a bunch. Roger that. So once we've cornered this part off from the civilians... Shall we call it ground control? Right idea, Douglas. Then we're almost ready. Well, you two made for each other. It's just the health and safety forms. There were nothing in my spam folder. No worries, I'll, I'll resend them. Well, don't forget, if I've got nothing to show the parish council, it'll be me on top of that bonfire. <laughs> should we dress them in something flammable and stick them up there now, or should we do that later? Oh, Jerry, what's the matter? Keep it to yourself, OK, but these are known as cat falls. What that means is, technically, we're not even allowed to look at these with our licence. You know if you burn those tiles, you'll see the smoke for miles. When did you decide it was stupid? We're going to bury them. Right, well, Adam's not answering that. Are you sure we're not just wasting our time here? Do you even seem that bothered? Trust me, we need to get rid of them. Honestly, in our job, you get so used to being splattered and smeared with, well, all kinds of fluids and solids. And that's just pearl. <laughs> Sorry, go on. You kind of forget, you know, how horrible it is for other people. I suppose what I was trying to say is sorry for yesterday. We both are. Look, how about we just don't talk about this ever again? I don't want the kids getting hold of it. That's how nicknames start. Let's talk about the Leo situation instead. Yeah, um... Oh, we've put together a, a document. It's a kind of letter. It, it's, um, some arguments, really. It's an explanation of the situation. I mean, is there any hope? Any at all? This is so important to Leo. He feels properly settled for the first time. And having a TA that can sign, it's made all the difference to him. I am worried, honestly, that he will feel isolated without that support. I know. And if we remove him from the school, he will miss all his friends. And after my meeting with you and your partner, this is exactly the case I've been making. Sorry, Marlon's not my partner. 
uh, not work-wise, anyway. We just live together, drive each other mad. <laughs> and clearly support each other. And Leo. Oh, nice you to say. Well, it's a very modern setup, but the great thing is it's working. It's the first time we've been called modern. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the point is, whatever we achieve here, he's starting from a great advantage point at home. Two dads. That's what we always tell Leo. Two dads are better than one. Adam. Hey, I just thought I'd say hello to the little one. Hi, bruv. Well, say hello to me while you're at it. So, how was your morning? Yeah, not great. It wasn't Gabby that couple was looking for, was it? It was me. I think they're going to come after me for Emma now. Why? What did you see? I didn't want to know about the car and why I didn't tell him about the new tyres when he was checking my treads. Well, why didn't you? Because I had a lot on my mind, all right? I wasn't thinking. All right. Just don't let it get to you. The bonfire gets lit soon. We should all go. Does Kane know? Well, why don't you get him to find the old tyres and hand them over? And then you'll have nothing to worry about. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. You can take this. Hey, you better get a move on if you want to see them light it. I'm not going. Oh, well, that's a shame, Stella. I suppose your mum's got other things on her mind at the moment. <laughs> Yet, listen, I do happen to know that Bob and Brenda will be lighting up a couple of Catherine wheels over at their place later. Uh, he's not too fond of bonfires, and, well, after they and everything. Mm. So they will be doing their own, well, their own little thing. Oh, well, that's a nice thought, but, um, I don't think so. Why not? I'm absolutely sure that they would be glad of the company. Yeah, go on, Mum. They'll be roasting chestnuts. I love chestnuts. And Brenda will be doing hot dogs. I love hot dogs. Why don't you give Bob a bell? I'm sure he'd love to see you. Do you know what? I've changed my mind. Let's go to the big firework display. Come on. How much do you want to bet that Doug makes us wear eye goggles and ear defenders? <laughs> I do. Looking forward to it. Hey? Well, I'm excited. I've bent and sniffed around my car and had a word. It's a job done. I can go mess with someone else. It's stupid there, weren't you? Hey, the tyres and that. Can we just not do this now? Oh, Peter, I'm sorry for how you must be feeling right now. But it wasn't me, all right? Well, we'll see, won't we? Please don't. Hey, let's go, bro. Don't what? Spoil a nice little family day out. I want to see you. Adam, don't rise to it. Come on. Get out of my face now. Adam! Behave. Well, come on. Guilty of what? Chris? He's had his tyres changed. Oh, look! She's all wet! Right, my turn. Oh, yeah. it now? <laughs> you know what? I reckon that must be the most unhygienic game <laughs> ever invented. Except for the game that you played yesterday with all the farm rentals. <laughs> so full of yourself now, aren't you? Now you reckon you've charmed Miss Grant? I don't reckon about it. She's eating it on my hand. <laughs> well, you were both very good in there. And the out and proud thing. Obviously works for her. What are you talking about? Well, it's romantic, it's cute. Oh, what's romantic? But you seriously don't know? I assumed that you were doing it deliberately, playing the, the diversity card, no? Paddy, what's she going on about? LGBTQ. I. And then A after that, I think. She thought you were gay. Seriously, you can't be surprised. Oh, he's one in a million. Two dads are better than one. Mm. Uh, Charles? Mm. You know, yesterday, in here, with Ms... Uh, Jessie. You don't think... You don't think she got a funny impression, do you? But me and Paddy... Oh, that she thought you were gay? Yeah, totally. Oh, come on, what's it matter? It's 2017 and you and Paddy are so cute and together. <laughs> you mean cute? You never stop saying cute. We are not cute. We are men of the world. He's not even my type. What? Get lost. As if I couldn't get better than you. <laughs> what are you doing hiding away here? You could be having a rubbish time up the road with everyone else. Did Doug make you wear that? No. No, I chose it myself. <laughs> He's about to napalm the entire village with these dodgy fireworks that Jerry got his hands on. I mean, you can't miss this. I know what people are going to look at me like and I'm not going to like it. People are going to be looking at you like... Oh, yeah, there's that poor girl the stupid police keep picking on. Nobody thinks you've done this. Honestly, Gabby. What, you reckon? Listen, if I thought you were a murderer, 
There's no way I'd be writing trash like this. Just in case you were making a list. <laughs> and her, I mean, the police have been after her for years. Crimes against intelligence. <laughs> I'm not joking, Gabby. I've met goldfish more sense than her. When have you ever met a goldfish? Oh, don't distract me with small details. <laughs> Please, Gabby, don't let me face Doug and Jerry on my own. Uh, where's Liver for? She was meant to be open out. Oh, don't say you've had Liver's teeth. You what? What are you on about? I think I'm going to have to take you home. Well, you haven't been here long. I'll tell him that. I can take you. You deserve a break. We'll be fine, won't we? Me and Kane have had a little tidy around the scrapyard. Mainly focusing on the old tyres, you know, so. Let them go where they want, they won't find anything. Thanks, Kane. Thanks, Sam. Right, well, say goodbye to Mummy. <laughs> See you in a bit. Why would I care about the tyres anyway? Or do you think I actually did it? Or maybe you got something to hide, eh? Well, we were just saying there's nothing to go on the top. What's this? A warrant. So you can give us the keys to the scrapyard, or we can pull out the bolt cutters. It's fine. They're in my car. I knew I shouldn't have come. A megaphone would have been handy to let everybody know the display's started. I think they'll know, Doug. The police see this lot go up. We're back inside by Christmas. Tell Doug to be careful. All right, mate. We've been hearing some stories. A few drinks, that's all that happened. She gave her booze, yeah? I didn't give her it. But you were selling her? No. What I'm saying is she's not a total innocent. I don't mean it like that, in that way. Yeah, she wasn't up for it at all. Can't you do something? Maybe this will distract him. It's my car. You couldn't have read the warrant, Mr. Barton. It's in safe hands. Nobody's laughing. I'm sorry to hear Gabby's having a bad day. Someone killed our mum. Wasting the time. Whoever did it, will be covering the tracks right now.
Surviving in the wild with plenty of laughs tonight at nine, our former SAS man teams up with the Welsh comedian for Bear's Mission with Rob Brydon. Next, our first visit tonight to Coronation Street.